Hello, my friends. <clears throat> Greg Klaumans are here, and uh, I wanted to um, just take a moment and uh, invite you to a gathering that I host on uh, Tuesday evenings, uh, 7 p.m. here at my house uh, up in um, near La Costa, South Carlsbad area. Anyhow, uh, you might ask, well, what are these conversations about, and uh, maybe why should I attend? And so that's the reason I'm uh, creating this video here to uh, give you a little context. So um, I've been a student and a teacher of um, the discoveries of a gentleman named Sidney Banks, and they're making a tremendous impact on my life and, and the life of the clients that I share it with and um, in workshops and things of that nature. But I wanted to give you kind of a real life example of how this understanding helps, particularly as a parent. So um, this week, uh, I co-parent my son, so uh, we typically do our, our parenting switches on uh, Sunday evening. And, um, you know, this week, um, like many weeks, my son um, is very attached to his mom. And um, when I have him, he, uh, he ends up with um, creating a lot of anxiety for himself and kind of getting all lathered up and um, really concerned and starts to worry about his mom and um, uh, wants to call her um, uh, uh, on and on and uh, something gets in his head and he just can't, can't let it go. And so yesterday he had one of these meltdowns, these uh, kind of an, an anxiety attack and what occurs for him is that um, if his mom doesn't get right back to him or messages him right back or he can't get a hold of her, he starts to really worry and think that um, something bad has happened to her. And so he gets stuck in this um, mental, uh, uh, this mental movie, if you will, that uh, something is bad is going to happen to his mom. And... Um, so the reason I'm sharing this is he is a really great example of how um, people's, when people's thoughts get the best of them, they seem kind of overwhelmed and out of control and it, and it seems like uh, um, uh, it, it creates a lot of anxiety and a lot of, a lot of stress. So um, it really bothered me. I, I noticed I was getting really upset with the fact that he was upset. And, um, and then I realized that wasn't very helpful. So I, I calmed myself down and I, I helped, I shared a metaphor that I had recently stumbled across and, and it's just brilliant, I just love it. And I shared with him, um, <laughs> hi Gretchen, uh, I shared with my son the fact that um, when we have bad thoughts going through our, our head, or they have us, uh, what's happened is I, I imagine walking him down the movie theaters, like 18 different theaters, and he somehow innocently stumbled into the wrong movie theater called a, a scary movie called Something Bad is Going to Happen to Mom. And I told him that he doesn't have to stay in that movie theater and he can leave it um, immediately and go find another movie, um, a nicer movie with a nicer feeling and nicer thoughts about his mom. And um, it kind of went in one ear and out the other, at least that's what I thought. The kids really do pick up things as I come to understand. And um, so he kind of got off of it. He kind of settled down. I didn't think much of it. And um, then later on in the night, he, uh, he wanted to... Uh, figure out what he could do <laughs> to earn ten dollars for the week because he wants something and I said well if you can um, stay out of the scary movie theater I'll give you ten bucks you know and and, 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 and don't get yourself all worked up and, and, and really anxious and he says really you'll give me ten dollars if I uh, don't have my meltdowns and, and I stay out of the scary theater and I said yeah I'll give you ten dollars at the end of the week and so um, I let it go, and uh, a little later that night, he called his mom, and he wanted to share the fact that he had uh, a deal with me to get $10 for the week, and all he had to do was not um, have an anxiety attack or a panic attack about 
missing his mom. And, um, and his mom asked him what I thought was a really um, valuable question. He says, well, how do you plan on, on doing that? How do you plan on not having an anxiety attack? And he said, <laughs> it was so cute. He said, well, Dad has said, um, if I go and do the um, movie theater that, that scares me or I get really scared, I can just leave it and go find a better movie uh, to play in my head. And I was just so surprised and delighted by um, his response and his strategy uh, for maintaining his own well-being for the week. Uh, it just put just a huge, huge smile on my face. So um, I share this with you because um, um, if you're listening, if you get um, stressed out or uh, really worked up about something or um, you're feeling disturbed, um, you too have stumbled into a disturbing movie or a scary movie or whatever it is and you don't have to stay there. You can get out of the theater, walk right out and go and find a nicer feeling, a nicer movie, something that's a little bit more uplifting. So um, the reason I share this is, is this is the type of things that we talk about here on Tuesday nights is that we talk about how the mind works and how um, thought is always moving through our mind and, um, and sometimes uh, disturbing thoughts move through our minds and, um, and uh, just teaching people the nature of the mind and um, how to not be so afraid of it and to uh, empower people to uh, see that they have choice in which movie uh, they're viewing. And as people experience this more and more, they start to realize that their well-being is on them. And it's simply about which uh, thoughts they're giving their attention to. So if you'd like to learn more about how your mind works and uh, the nature of thought, then I encourage you to join me this evening at 7 p.m. Uh, here at my house. Uh, uh, like I said, I live near La Costa. So um, that's it for right now. Um, have a great rest of your day. Gretchen, thanks for listening, and uh, I appreciate you, uh, you watching. Take care.